Hi everyone, this is Billy. In my last video, I created this antique-like portable AM SW FM crystal radio with a speaker. But I can't make the speaker sound, so I'm creating a bigger one with a better transformer that I can make the speaker sound with crystal radio without battery. I need to find a bigger chassis, but I couldn't find very good ones on the market. So I 3D designed one myself. It's looking cool. Let's see. After three different versions, I finally completed this 3D printed portable crystal radio that can listen to your radio without battery. You just need to connect the right antenna to these screws. Then you can listen to the radio through this headphone jack or this speaker. Of course, you need a very strong signal to be able to drive the speaker. And you can read out how strong is the signal through this 25 microampere current meter. Let me show you what's inside. We are using the 3DQ MOS FET, or you can use a diode or even crystal. Just change the detector by unplugging and plugging in the right diode or detector or crystal. So when people say this is not a crystal radio, depending on what is your definition, my definition is anything that allow you to listen to radio without battery, I call that a crystal radio. If your definition is crystal, then simply replace this detector module with a crystal, then you have a crystal radio. We have a band switch that switch between AM, short wave and FM. It will lead the different coil into the detector to be detected and the band switch will select the output we fit to the headphone jack. The headphone jack is converted from higher impedance of the detector to the lower impedance of the headphone or the speaker. For the speaker, we connect to the 8 ohm speaker through this uh, yellow cable here. Uh, it's a 200K to 4 ohm impedance matching auto transformer. By auto means you connect both the common ground to the 0 ohm here, this one, and then you can connect the input terminal to any of the impedance matching your detector be it a diode, crystal, or MOSFET. Then your output terminal can be matched with this impedance here, starting from red one is 4 ohm, all ranges, 8 ohm, brown is 16, and the white is 32, and then go on like that, double up to uh, my headphone is 500 ohm, then you can have 1K, 2.5K, 5K, and so on. So we have two coil, one is the AM coil, which is one using the list wire. The other one is the short wave coil, which is one using a one millimeter diameter silver plated copper wire. The last coil we have is the FM radio coil, which is one using two millimeter bare copper wire on a AAA cell. For the variable capacitor, we use a plastic variable capacitor with four gains. The first two gains is for FM. You can pick one of them to hook up with the FM coil. The last two gains can be used for short wave or AM. So you can uh, each connect to the coil to make up your tank circuit, your resonance circuit. For the output monitoring, we have this 25 microampere positive and negative meter and you need to connect a capacitor, 10 microfarad capacitor across the terminal. So when the audio signal comes through, it won't be adding resistance by this uh, meter, which has an resistance of around uh, one kilo ohm. And the capacitor will let the audio frequency to pass through. The direct current DC will be sent through the coil of the meter 
to move the needle so you can find out how much current is coming through for the rest of the video I'll stop talking and let you enjoy how I make it from designing the 3D model to creating and setting up all the components and lastly we'll have the testing thanks for watching if you like my video click like subscribe and send to your friends to watch too thank you
hope that we can acknowledge the love of the Lord towards us through such projects. Lastly, shout out to all Kayao, and then that's your avid listener, Boone, who I'm looking forward to meet one fine day. Amen. So there's a great, great letter there, and it's great service notifications. For inquiries, please call the Communications Authority on 2961-6333. Hai 阿根廷卫生部四号公布Fatibo 
<笑>主持人在干嘛？主持人在给大家来讲李白和杜甫的故事哈、嗯。那么接下来的时间呢，其实我们来介绍一下杜甫草堂。嗯、杜甫草堂是中国唐代大诗人杜甫。分别是小七，然后呢是煎蛋皮，还有马老师，你又中奖了。<笑>呃，特别要提醒大家一句哈，嗯、关键词你得听清楚是主持人在干嘛，嗯、你不能太省略了哈。嗯<笑>在日常的生活当中，他承受了很大。他不想在当初那样说，我我的所有的决定都是正确的啊！我我不吃任何批评，我我也没有犯过错误。当了前三位运动项目，第一次是足球、篮球。说到膝关节运动损伤最常见的结构或者部位